4.1 solving a system of linear equation in two variables. In this session, we will review solving system of equations in three different ways. Graphing, substitution, and elimination methods. So, as you can see, a system of linear equation is basically uh, an equation. There are two equations with two variables in each equation. So, our interest is, as before, what does this mean to be a solution? A solution in a system of linear equation two variable is an order pair which satisfy both of the equation. So, first example, we want to determine 2, negative 2 is a solution of the system or not. So, what we need to do is we need to make sure this order pair satisfy to both equation. So substituting to the first equation that give me 2 minus 3 times negative 2 is equal to negative 8. So that give us 2 plus 6 which is equal to negative 8. So 2 plus 6 is 8, and then the other side is negative 8. So therefore, this is not a solution because the statement that we get is a false statement. Right? This is false. So now I can conclude that 2, negative 2, is not a solution. Okay, 2, negative 2 is not a solution. So, the very first method that we're going to review is how to solve the system by graphing. So basically what we do is we just graph each line and if two lines intersect at one point then we have a solution. If two lines are parallel that means no solution. If two lines are on top of each other means identical line then we have many solutions because there is a lot of intersections and a lot of points are on both of the lines. And you should also know the name of the system. Right? If there is one solution, we call it consistent dependent system. If there is no solution, it will be inconsistent system. And if it is many solution, then we call it consistent dependent solution uh, system. So let's take a look at on the first example uh, of graphing method, example two. So I have two uh, system of equation. So first, I'm going to draw each line. So first equation, 2x plus y equal to 6. Solving for y, that will put it into slope intercept form is the easiest to graph. So that gives me y equal to negative 2x plus 6. So my y-intercept is 6, my slope is negative 2. So this first line here is 6, y-intercept. And the slope is negative 2, so it will be go down 2 units and then to the right 1 units. So here's another point. Okay, go down 2 units. And if you continue counting the slope, you will get more point, which is go down 2 and then to the right 1 unit, which is right here is another point. So now that allows us to graph a line a little bit better. And you should use graphing paper and rulers to do the sections because even though you slanted the line a little slightly wrong, then your solution will be different. So the next equation is x plus y 
equal to 1. So solving for y, that will give me y is equal to negative x plus 1. So that tells us my, my y-intercept is 1, which is right here. And my slope is negative 1, so it will be go down 1 to the right 1. And go down 1 to the right 1. And you can see that it will be intersecting somewhere down there. Go down there 1, and then go down there 1. Right 1, which is intersection point, is right there. So I'm just like pointing out so it will help you to see better. But if you use a rule, uh, straight edge ruler and then graphing paper, then you should have no problem finding out where the solution is going to be. So finally, we found out that two lines intersect at this point. So on the test, a lot of times we just graph the uh, lines and then never tell us what is the solution. Remember, the solution is an order pair, so you have to write 5, negative 4 as a solution for the final answer. Let's take a look at on the next example. Example three. So example three, the first equation is already help you to solve for uh, slope intercept form already. So I'm gonna just start graphing it. My y intercept is two, and then the slope is negative one fourth. So here's two. And the slope is negative one four, so it will be go down that go down one unit and then to the right four units, which is here's another point. And then again, go down one unit and then to the right four units, so here's another point. So that gives us to draw a straight line. Like this. Okay, using the ruler. And then for the second equation. I need to put this into slope intercept form. So first you subtract x to both sides. Right? Second equation. Subtract x to both sides. That will give me 4y minus x minus 8. And then divide both sides by 4, which is going to be negative x over 4 and then divided by 4 4 so this gives us y is equal to negative 1 fourth x minus 2 so even before you graph in it you can sort of tell it's going to be parallel because the slope of the first equation and the slope of the second equation they are the same right we talked about it in previous session so now from here i can see that these two lines are going to be parallel right and my y intercept is right here negative 2 and the slope is the same so it will be go down one unit and to the right four units go down one unit and to the right four units and you can see that these two lines are going to be parallel to each other. And make sure you use a ruler, right? So, so what does that tell me? Now, finally, you need to, since two lines never intersect at any point, so in this case is what? No solution. No solution. And next example. So in you know, example number four, let's give it to you. The first equation is already in slope intercept form. So let's grab that. My y intercept is negative six. The slope is negative three. So here is negative six, the y intercept. And the slope is negative three. So remember, if the slope is the integers, I can say that over what? 3 over 1. So negative 3 over 1. It will be go down 3 units and to the right 1 unit. Here is the. Or you can count a different way. Go up 3 units and to the left 1 unit. So that gives me, here is a straight line. Okay. Here 
minus a straight line. Now, let's take a look at on the second equation. Second equation is 6x plus 2y equal to negative 12. So, subtracting 6x on both sides, which is negative 6x minus 12 and divide both side by 2 which gives me negative 6x and then minus 12 divided by 2 divided by 2 and give us y is equal to negative 3x minus 6 and notice that it is identical two lines are identical so basically your line 2 is basically on top of line one so I can just here put an arrow like this okay and that tells me um, every point on the lines they are over, uh, intersecting each other so therefore this case is many solution so for this course we would like to write down many solutions in set builder notation We will want to we want to write down in set builder notation, and that's how your textbook and that's how I will like to see on the test. So set builder notations. Remember this is open set, but this time our solution is not just one variable; it's an order pair. So therefore, it will be x, comma, y, such that, and then you need to write down the solution. In this case, solution is every point on the line, so therefore, you can simply choose one of the equations as my solution because the order pair has to satisfy one of the equations, right? So I can choose it, this equations, and then this will be my final answer. So no solution, you can just write down no solutions, and that will be it. Now, continue into the second method, which is solve by substitution method. So when we solve by substitution method, first we're going to choose an equation and solve for one of the variable in that equation. And then the result, we will substitute it into another equation and continue solving. And that will help us to get the value of one variable and we use that one uh, value and then substitute it back into any equations to get the missing one so that's the structure of it now the, the trick right here is how which equation should I choose and which variable should I solve for it always choose the equation has uh, very uh, the equation that have variable with coefficient 1. So meanings, I will be choosing equation number 1 and solve for variable x because variable x has coefficient 1. That will make it uh, a lot easier to continue because you don't have to deal with fractions anymore. So uh, what I mean by that is because uh, if you look at this equation 1 and if I choose uh, if I solve for y, that will become a negative 4y equal to negative x minus 4. And then when you divide it by negative 4, that will end up in a fractions right here, 1 fourth x minus uh, plus 1. Okay? So that's not good. So let's go back to our plans, right, using our little trick. And when you solving system of equation, always copy down the original equation that you're going to be start, uh, you're going to be working on. So that way I can follow your work and also write it vertical format. So go down vertical. If you don't have enough space, go to next column. So x minus 4y equal to negative 4. And then we're going to solve for x. So adding 4y to both sides. So notice that I don't have any fractions to deal with. 
Now, we're going to substitute this result into another equation, which is another equation is negative 3x plus 4y equal to 0. We're going to start with this another equation. We're going to substitute x with the result that we found in step 1, which is x is represented by 4y minus 4. 4y minus 4. And from here, the equation become in one variable, and we know how to solve one variable equation, right? One variable linear equation. So distributed first, that will become negative 12y plus 12 plus 4y equal to 0. Simplifying a little bit, that give us negative 8y plus 12 equal to 0. So subtracting negative 12 on both sides. And then dividing both sides by negative 8 this give us y is equal to 3 over 2 okay so now you can substitute back into any equations to get the missing va uh, value so I'm going to substitute back into this equation because this equation is already solved for x already. Right? This equation is already solved for x. So x equal to 4y minus 4. And substituting y with 3 over 2. Right? Substituting y with 3 over 2. Then this gives us 4 and then 2, we can reduce it, which will become 2 goes into 4 twice, 2 times 3 is 6 minus 4, which gives us our answer 2. So your final answer in this case will be 2 comma 3 over 2. Continue in this next example. So this next example, one of the equations already help you solve for y already, so you can just go ahead and start your substitution method right away. So starting with equations 5x minus 3y equal to 15, we will substitute y with negative 5 plus 5 third x. So it will be 3 times. And substituting y with negative 5 plus 5 over 3 x 5 over 3x equal to 15. Now continue solving for this 5x distributed negative 3 that will become plus 15 distributed negative 3 that will give you negative 5x equal to 15. Now Simplifying a little bit on the left hand side, 5x minus 5x is 0, so we only left with 15 equal to 15. So, this kind of situation we see, uh, we saw that in linear equations, right? The variable that we are solving for 
is got eliminated and now this leftover statement is a true statement that means there is many solution so we're gonna write it in set notations for many solutions so my final answer will be a set of x comma y right the order pair such that you can choose one of the equation doesn't matter which one right so it'll be 5x minus 3y equal to 15 that will be my final answer so moving on to the next example we'll be talking about elimination method or also known as addition method okay so the goal of addition method is <clears throat> after you decide how uh, we're going to be adding two equations together to eliminate one of the variable so first you have to decide which variable you want to eliminate and then second you need to make sure the coefficient of the variable that you want to eliminate are opposite number so in this example 7 um, I would like to eliminate the variable y because the variable y uh, the first equation is a negative um, second equation is a positive I just need to make sure the number become the same so you may multiply by a different number to each equation that's allowed in equation so I'm gonna multiply the first equation by 3 and the second equation by 4 so notice that that will make it negative 12y and a positive 12y so when we add these two equations together the y variable will be eliminated so continuing this that will become uh, 9x minus 12y equal to negative 27 the second equation is 20x plus 12y equal to 56 14 times 4 is 56 then we're going to add both of the equations together because we got um, opposite coefficient for the y variable already so when we add it up this will become 29x and the variable y is gone right we got eliminated equal to so now 27 uh, 56 take away 27 let's put it that way right so 56 take away 27 that give us 29 so when you divide both sides by 29 the variable x is equal to 1 so after you add two equations together one of the variable will be eliminated right you make that to happen and then continue solving will give you the value of a variable and now I can substitute this value into any equations to get my final answer so substituting into equation number two so it doesn't matter which one you choose 5x plus 3y equal to 14 so make sure you copy down the original equation that you're gonna work on it for me because on a test everybody can go a different way and I want to make sure I can follow uh, which directions you are going okay so always copy down the original equations now I'm gonna substitute x with the value 1 and then solve for y so 5 plus dy is equal to 14 subtracting 5 on both sides so that will be 3y is equal to 9 so dividing both sides by 3 that give me y is equal to 3 so don't forget your final answer has to be in order pair so my final answer will be 1 
comma three that's my final answer otherwise you will lose point if you don't put it in order pair okay so let's continue on the last example by solving by elimination method so in this case there are so many fractions involved so you don't have to work with fractions like as usual I can eliminate the fraction first so first equations I can multiply by the LCD 6 to clear the fraction and the second equations I can multiply by 4 to eliminate the LCD right? to eliminate the fractions and once we eliminate fractions then we will decide which variable to eliminate and so on and so forth continue okay? so distributing 6 into the first equation that will be 1 third times 6 is 2x 1 half times 6 will give me mi minus 3y equal to 6 times 1 is 6 for the second equations 3 4 x so 3 4 times 4 will be 3 x and times uh, negative 4 y equal to now 2 goes into 4 twice so 2 times 5 is 10 once again you can do this mental math or write it on a side work or use your calculator either way okay it's perfectly fine so at this point, I'm going to be continuing with the mental math. So I'll uh, help you to practice your mental math and as well as like, you know, uh, get used to with it. Okay. So now I'm going to have to decide which variable I want to eliminate. So in this case, uh, you can eliminate either X or Y. It doesn't really matter. But to do that, so let's say let's eliminate X this time. Okay. So if I eliminate x, then I'm going to have to make sure the coefficients of x are opposite number. So to get opposite number, I can multiply the first num uh, equation by 3. So that will give me 6x. So the second equation, I need to multiply by negative 2 because that will help me to get opposite number, opposite of 6. So finally, this will give us 6x minus 9y is equal to 18 and negative 6x plus 8y equal to negative 20 and then what we do is we add these two equations together so when we add it up two equations together x variable got eliminated because 6x minus 6x is 0 x so zero and then this will become negative y equal to negative 2 right? 18 minus 20 18 negative 20 so divide both side by negative 1 that give me my y is equal to 2 now we're gonna substitute this var value y value of y into any equations to get my x so definitely I don't want to substitute into the original one of the original equation I don't want to do that because you, there's a lot of fractions involved right uh, so you can substitute into the modified equations either this one or that one so let's choose the first equations right here 2x minus 3y equal to 6 so that gives me 2x minus 3 times the value of y in this case is 2 so I substitute it as equal to 6 so which gives us 2x minus 6 equal to 6 solving for x I need to add 6 to both sides so that will give me 2x is equal to 12 and dividing both sides by 2 which will give me 6 so that allow us to write our final answer which is my x is 6 and y is 2 and that concludes our sessions